This is horrifying. 122 kilometers an hour. Heading into New Haven, Chesterfield Township, Michigan. And that's going to be heading right towards, I don't want to say it, it's going to be heading right towards Wallsburg. Hey y'all, welcome back to another one. We are uh, scrambling trying to get out of Windsor because this is coming, not the underpass. That major storm is coming and we're trying to get home before it gets here. It's supposed to be a dinger. So I'm just getting on the 401 here out of Windsor, gonna head back to town. A couple of raindrops just hit the window. But look at that. There's construction on the 401 as there always is. So hopefully we don't get held up too bad. But we gotta get moving because it's supposed to be a good one. So much for that idea. I don't know if it's down to one lane or two lanes. But this is a daily battle on Highway 401. Doesn't matter whether you're in the Windsor area or the Toronto area. Well, we made it through the construction. It wasn't as long as I thought it was. I think it's going to start again up ahead. But uh, she's still looking pretty dark over there. Now, the weather guy says expect tornadoes. Uh, pretty good chance of tornadoes so that's why I'm trying to get home in a hurry and make things are and make sure things are taken care of there so we don't get caught with their pants down ain't nobody want to see that I wonder what Tyler Fire is doing right now probably not trying to overrun a storm well we did it we beat the rain home we just gotta get parked and get in the house the winds picked up clouds are rolling in I was mistaken. There was no construction by our exit, which was good. But uh, it is dark. Have a look. Well, I'll just give you all an update. Like I said, I made it home. We just had a transformer explode somewhere outside our house because I heard it go bang. Our power went out and came back on. But apparently Windsor, where I just come from, is getting hammered right now. They were talking about 115, 116 kilometer an hour winds. And uh, tornadoes in Sarnia, which is north of us, and Mitchell's Bay, which is off of Lake St. Clair, where we boat all the time, uh, they're under a tornado watch as well. So we're just kind of sitting by and waiting to see what happens. Yep, hydro like the hydro wires are just swinging all over the place out here. Yeah. Well, well, the wind is beating by here pretty good. It's what? So the wind is beating by here pretty good. I hope Louie got some cover. Well, hopefully she went under, into her house or somewhere. She's not under the boat? No. Uh, uh, yeah, it's just the... Uh... Well, good thing we got a generator. I'm about to go out and get it going so we can keep our sump pump going so our basement doesn't end up in water. It's coming down big time. Well, you can hear me. That was a big storm that came through here. Generator's running. We got no power. We did a lesson from a couple years ago when we flooded. You can see the sky over here is still dark. The sun's shining. Our basement won't flood because we bought a generator. I might take a quick run around town see if there's any damage. The uh, weather guy was saying it was 115 kilometer an hour wind. I feel like I don't have a hat on. I almost feel naked. Well, that was something. We still got uh, storms plenty east of here. Uh, heading up by London Way, Dorchester area. Apparently they're getting hammered too. Uh, when the power first went out, well, you may have mentioned this already, but when the power first went out, it came back on, I heard a big bang, which is, I mean a big bang which is a transformer exploding. And then when the power went out, it never came back. So as you hear, that's what you see. That's why we got our generator running. But we're just gonna take a quick cruise around town to see if there's any damage. 
There's a few trees over in the park there that are down. That's common. There's a lot of big old trees. So this is our park where all the events are held. Now that tree over there ain't supposed to be there. All in all though, coming over here doesn't look too bad. one way to make coffee around here now thankfully we had our generator which we've used many times and just as I sit down to record this segment uh, Jen was reading online that the power supposed to come back on at 9 p.m. tonight that's probably just a couple hours from now and as I walked out the door the power came back on which is a good thing I don't have to worry about the freezers or the fridge but uh, it's always nice to have an alternative power source that plus our battery banks that we have in the house for electronics also an alternative cooking source because we have a hydro stove so this I'll show you as you saw this right here I boiled my water I can also cook whatever I need to cook on there and just as you see just take some small propane bottles I believe I paid I want to say $69 for that stove not too bad and of course we have our benchmark generator that thing has been a lifesaver but this storm was one of the worst ones we've seen come through I think I mentioned already but they were saying that the wind had gotten up to upwards of 115 to 120 125 kilometers an hour and uh, as you saw in some of the video you could see it going by the house now just north of us to Mitchell's Bay Wallsburg area uh, it was coming in off the shore pretty pretty thick and even farther north when you go to Sarnia I guess they got hit pretty bad up there as well as the London area which is east of us so uh, I'm not sure what Windsor looks like as you saw around town there's not a whole lot of damage which is a good thing but it always pays to be prepared anyway that's all I got for this video I thought it was going to be bad I was hoping for the best and best case scenario for us turned out and remember get off the couch Get outside and enjoy the outdoors. Unless it's in a monsoon rainstorm. They just stand the couch. Later. Dana says Windsor was insane. Donna says, you know what's bad when Adam starts saying, yo, 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 yo. He starts yo-yoing. Yeah, if I go, yo, yo, yo. Ah, uh, that's not good.